Welcome Bill Dong. When at a store checkout, the young cashier suggested to the older woman that she should bring her own shopping bags in future because plastic bags weren't good for the environment, the woman apologised and explained, we didn't have this, this green thing back in my early days. The cashier responded, that's our problem today. Your generation did not care enough to save the environment for future generations. <laughs> she was right. Our generation didn't have the green thing. Back then, we returned milk bottles, pop bottles, and beer bottles to the shop. The shop sent them back to the plant to be washed and sterilised and refilled, so it could use the same bottles over and over. So they really were recycled. We refilled writing pens with ink instead of buying a new pen, and we replaced the razor blades in a razor instead of throwing away the whole razor, just because the blade got plugged. But we didn't have the green thing back in our day. <laughs> we walked upstairs because we didn't have an escalator in every shop and office building. We walked to the shop and didn't climb into a 300 horsepower machine every time we had to go for two streets. But she was right, we, we didn't have the green thing in, in our day. Back then we washed the baby's nappies because we didn't have the throwaway kind. We dried clothes on a line, not in an energy gobbling machine burning up to 2,200 watts. Wind and solar power really did dry our clothes back in the early days. Kids got hand-me-down clothes from their brothers and sisters. Not always brand new clothing. But that young lady is right, we, we didn't have that green thing back in our day. <laughs> back then we had one TV or radio in the house. Not a TV in every room. And the TV had a small screen the size of a handkerchief, remember them? <laughs> not a screen the size of the county of Yorkshire. <laughs> <laughs> in the kitchen we blended and stirred by hand because we didn't have electric machines to do everything for us. When we packaged a fragile item to send in post, we used up, wadded up old newspapers to cushion it, not polystyrene or plastic bubble wrap. Back then, we didn't fire up an engine and burn petrol just to cut the lawn. We used a push mower that ran on human power. We exercised by working so we didn't have need to go to a health club to run on treadmills that operate on electricity. But, but she's right, we, we didn't have the green thing. <laughs> <laughs> we drank water from a fountain or a tap. When we were thirsty, instead of demanding a plastic bottle flown in from another country, we accepted that a lot of food was seasonal and we didn't expect to have out of season products flown thousands of air miles around the world. We actually cooked food that didn't come out of a packet, tin, or plastic wrapping, and we could even wash our own vegetables and chop our own salads. But we, we didn't have the green thing back then. Back then, people caught a train or a bus and kids rode their bikes to school or walked in so instead of turning their mothers into a 24 hour taxi service. We had one electrical socket in, in a room, not an entire bank of sockets to power a dozen appliances. And we didn't need a computerised gadget to receive a signal beamed from satellites 2,000 miles out in space in order to find where the nearest pizza place was. <laughs> but instead, isn't it sad the current generation laments how wasteful we oldies were just because we didn't have that green thing back then? <laughs> 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 